you can't always tell if you're out of rhythm. You can tell if your heart seems abnormally fast, but if it's not that fast, you may not even know you're in an episode of atrial fibrillation. What if your normal rhythm source was telling your heart to go at a normal speed of 60 to 70 beats per minute? And then the atrial fibrillation abnormal heart rhythm wakes up and makes your heart go at 80 or 90 beats per minute. That's just a little bit faster than your normal rhythm source speed. You may not even know you're in an abnormal rhythm. Or it could make your heart go at 150 beats per minute, like you're running full tilt on a treadmill and you'd feel severe palpitations. So it's not always how much atrial fibrillation, it's what speed that helps determine more what kind of symptoms. Look, I see people with atrial fibrillation all the time, and I've done this for over 20 years. I sometimes see people who are in AFib 90 to 100% of the time, but their average heart rate in AFib is 80 to 90 beats per minute, and they barely feel it. And they say, look, unless you tell me, I don't even know I'm in atrial fibrillation. Or on the other extreme, I may see somebody who's only in it three to 5% of the time, where they're 95% or more not in it, because they're at a very early stage and it's not waking up very much, but their average heart rate in atrial fibrillation is 150, 160 beats per minute, and they feel like their heart's gonna beat out of their chest and they're begging for treatment. So we treat atrial fibrillation not just because you're having it, we treat it primarily because of symptoms.